Okay, welcome back, Alex from Idea Spot. Today we are on our third video creating our Style Soul fashion website. For this video, I'm going to be working on the headers and footers and our top menu here. So, to do this, we want to use the Astra theme customizer. We just click customize here. Wait for the customizer to load up. While that's loading, I might just open another copy of the homepage there so we can refresh and look at how things are going. But let's have a look. Here is our Astra theme customizer. Um, all we have to do to start changing this is use these little blue pencils and we can change. I don't want this fashion by Cara logo. We can just hit remove. Um, instead of having a logo, we can just put the title there. Just click display site title. I called the website Style Soul when I was installing WordPress. Um, so whatever you used will be there automatically, but you can change that any way you like um, at this point. And when you're happy, just hit publish. So that's how you change there. You can also design a logo and upload your logo here at this point. Um, I don't have a logo ready yet, so I'm just going to use the title for now. Um, the next part that we can do is our menu. We only have a home page, a blog, and a contact. It's very easy to add things to the menu. Let's just click back here, click back again, click back again, and menus. Our primary menu is what we work with, and you can add items to that menu. Any page that you've made, I haven't made any new ones yet, but if you wanted the sample page on the menu, you could just hit add and there you'll see it pop up on our menu to remove things it's the same process we click add items and we can hit the red x there and it will remove our menu item so that is really pretty easy to do we just hit publish i'll show you how to change these social icons at the moment now let's click the pencil and we can change any of these with these gray blocks here. So let's click the top one. The top one is a Pinterest icon. Let's say we wanted to change it to a Facebook icon. Just click choose icon and start typing in Facebook there. You'll get a Facebook, you'll get a few options for Facebook actually. There we go, hit enter. And there we go. It's loaded up our Facebook logo. Um, all we have to do, click that again. We, we just paste the link to your own Facebook in there. And then when anyone clicks on that, it will take them to your Facebook page. Same with the Instagram. Same with the last one, which is YouTube. Anyway, you can change them to any uh, icon you'd like. There's so many icons in this, uh, in this setup. So you could link wherever you like with those. So that's really pretty easy to do. Um, the only other thing we wanted to work with here was our footer. Um, it says copyright style soul and we've got our menu down here as well, which is nice. Um, let's hit that blue thing here and we could, you know, we could put our phone number, uh, you know, and then let's put some dashes in there maybe. A lot of people like to scroll to the bottom and find contact details, so um, you could do that, do it that way. Um, you could put your email or you could just, we could just leave it blank. I like to just have the, just the copyright info, but we can, we can put whatever we like there. So that is your headers and your footers. Really, really easy. Um, if you don't want these social icons, there's a few options for what you can do with that as well. I'll show you that now. Um, let's hit this one here. Um, these are our menu locations. We want to go back. It's in layout and layout and header and site identity. We definitely want to change this tagline we don't want just another wordpress site we can leave it blank or we can come up with a new tagline anyway hit publish 
The options for this are in the primary header and the last item in the menu is the social icons widget. But we can have other options too. We can just get rid of it, send it to none and then it's nice and clean and tidy. We could have a search icon so readers can just type in something and search our website. Um, I really like uh, having a button or text. This text makes a, um, a call to action. You could make a phone number in there so a mobile user might call you or you could link that to um, part of your website that uh, you're promoting, maybe a special perhaps, but I quite like the widget. I think for fashion, you, you're probably going to be using Instagram or Facebook um, to promote your work as well as your website. So it's, it's good to link them all together and have it nice and clear. So that's what it looks like on desktop. This is what the menu looks like on mobile. So it's got a nice little mobile menu automatically works like that. And your icons will be there. So that's all there is to it. Um, setting up your headers and your footers and your menu. Um, if you found this helpful, I'm going to come back and show you how to do the blog and the contact form next. So make sure you hit like and hit subscribe so you find out when these new videos hit YouTube. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.